A lot of people think that doing a first ascent is just sending the root, but really that's just one part of the story. Gonna head out there, see what treasures the desert has in store for us. The longer I'm climbing, the harder it is for me to find the type of climbing experiences I'm looking for. These days, my main passion is exploring for new routes and looking for that unique architecture and those crazy lines that we haven't even dreamed of yet. Yeah, I don't know, I guess we'll see. Oh! Jeez. I've usually got all my systems pretty dialed in, but every now and then things go pear-shaped. Exploring the desert requires a multitude of transportation options, from my van, to riding around in a side-by-side, -side, to going off on my little dirt bike, and every now and then I'll try to give myself a day to just go get completely lost in the desert and see what's out there. Yeah, when you're out there searching around, there's all sorts of climbing that you'll find from corners, face climbs, giant chimneys, chossy overhanging corners, thin splitters. It is one of the sickest things I've ever seen. Sometimes you look up at a cliff and you say, wow, look at those panels of rock. And upon closer inspection, it turns out to be the most putrid, exfoliating, kitty litter choss on God's green earth. You know, we're not in Indian Creek anymore. A really good resource for exploring is Google Earth. You can see where the roads go, you can see where the cliff edges line up. I'll get on the flight simulator, hop in my F-16, full throttle. Boosh! <laughs> Just blasting through Indian Creek, Hearts Draw, Cane Creek and what i'm looking for is this unique climbing this experience crazy chimney thing and a few days ago i found a pretty cool crack ringlock ranch first pitch isn't really much to write home about but then the second pitch is this unbelievable thinning splitter probably 100 feet long goes from thin hands all the way down through the sizes to a tips bowler problem it is an exceptional piece of crack climbing but it's also in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, getting out to Ringlock Ranch is a little bit convoluted. It's way out there. By the time you start hiking, you're already pretty deep into the mission. First pitch. Climbing hard cracks is, it's magic. There's something so improbable about it. There's no holds. You know, these walls that you climb in the desert, they don't have holds on them. It's just smooth sandstone with one little crack going up it. Just the, the craft of fitting your hands and your fingers into a crack to turn it into a hold. It's, it's so cool.
you can take. Woo! Oh man. That emptied my tank. God damn. What a sick pitch. This is one of the most badass cracks I've ever climbed. For me, a lot of the magic is in just finding these roots, you know? And when you finish a new route, it's pretty cool looking back on the whole journey. <laughs>